We're gonna make a chips bag out of a plane. Uh, this will make the texturing easier. And um, first we're gonna go into edit mode and right click subdivide. And do that a bunch of times. The more detail it has, the slower it'll be to create, especially when you do the cloth simulation. So this should be plenty. Um, select this inner square and we're gonna use Alt S to expand that outward. And it can be just a little bit is fine. And now back in object mode, we're gonna add a mirror modifier to these modifiers. And instead of the x-axis, it's gonna be the z-axis. And you'll see that adds the other side of the chip bag. And it's gonna merge here in the center. So we're gonna apply that right away. And what we're gonna do is make sure the texture is working. Um, I'm gonna go to or UV editing. Well, first I'm I'm gonna go to shading and add a new material, and I'm going to add a texture node, an image texture node. Connect that to the base color, and I have a texture right here. Just any chip label will do. You can probably find them on Google. Uh, so once you drag that in, you can find it in this drop down, and there it is. Uh, the issue here as I'll show you in the UV editing panel, is that, gotta look at this again. Oh, texture enabled, okay. Um, the issue is that this texture has automatically been stretched across this wide texture, or the UV map has been stretched. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select it all. I'm gonna hold the period button to change the, this pivot point the 2D cursor, and I'm going to press S to scale. I'm going to press S X to only scale on the X axis. I'm going to type in the number 0.5, the point and then the 5, and that will scale it in half. So that's good, except the back is now the same as the front, but in reverse. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it from the side. I'm going to press Alt Z, and I'm going to select only half, the bottom half. So pressing Alt-C again to look at it normally. I have only the bottom half selected and I'm going to use G to move, press X on the X axis and type in 0.5 again, move it to the other half and switching the pivot point back to median point. I'm gonna press S to scale X axis and type in negative one to just flip that. I think there's a UV operation Lip as well, but that's how I do it. Uh, so now we have a texture on the front and the back, and it's the right way around, and that's all good. We can forget about that now because we're going to do the physics simulation. That's right here. We're going to just click cloth, and now it's a physics simulation. If you press play, it well, it simulates cloth, including gravity. So the first thing you should do is turn off gravity. And okay turned off gravity. I'm going to turn on pressure because that's going to inflate it like a bag. Uh, I think around three worked well. And if I press play now, space for play, sort of inflates like a bag or a pillow. You'd use this to make a pillow, but we want to make a chips bag. So we got to sort of freeze the top and bottom of it in place. So what I'm going to use, looking down from the top again, is a vertex group. I'm gonna make a new vertex group and call it pin. You can call it anything, but in the weight paint mode, you can literally just paint on where we want it to be frozen. And the red is the most frozen and the other colors are sort of in between and blue is not frozen at all. It's called pinning. I'm gonna go back to object mode and in the physics settings, under the cloth settings, under shape, it's got a pin group we can set. But now when we press space, it simulates with that pin. So that's a little more like we want, but it's not quite as extreme. Uh, I've noticed that under shape, you can mess with the shrinking factor, turn it negative, and it will make some extreme effects. If you make it too much, it might be unwanted. It might get not the results at all that you want, like that. 
So I noticed uh, around negative 0.1 for this project is pretty good. You can mess around with it. That makes a lot more like the shape I want. You can mess with these settings. You can mess with the stiffness settings up here and get exactly what you want. But I'm going to say this is good for now. Uh, the one last thing you have to do after you're all done, go to the modifiers tab and apply the cloth. And now you've got a, no matter where you are in the playback, you've got a real shape. And make sure to right click, fade smooth. And under material preview, yep, looks good to me.